Well, good morning, good afternoon. This morning, we are doing something a bit different. I'm just waiting for a guy called Dow, and he's got a red-tailed hawk, and we're gonna be flying the red-tailed hawk and then the Harris hawk, and I'm hoping to get a bit of footage of both. So we'll ask Dow a couple of questions about his red-tailed hawk. So I'm just sitting here relaxing now. And once he arrives, we'll have a little wander with the hawks uh, on our fists just to see what they like. And then I'll stick Woody away. And uh, we'll be out. I think the red-tailed hawks can be a little bit more tenacious. But uh, it'll be interesting to see. So I hope you enjoy the video. Come and join us now for a little bit of Woody the Harris Hawk and the Red Tailed Hawk, which I don't know his name just yet. So Dale, how long you had that? Red Tail, mate. So, we're going into our second season now. Yep. Um, got him when he was 14 weeks. Uh, yeah. And you, he's been um, quite successful? <laughs> Not last season. Not last. Really, no. We're doing better this season already, so yeah. fingers crossed we do have a decent season. So. Yeah, and they've got quite an attitude, haven't they, these? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, <laughs> a bit, I think they're a bit harder than, than the parasol. Yeah, but at the moment we've got not we haven't hooded the, the hawks. So you fly yours um, into the wood and he follows on, is that right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. He's quite good um, <clears throat> following on to be honest. I know yeah. a lot of people do say the reds seem to be quite hard to get them to follow on. But, yeah. Um, to be honest, even last season, I know we didn't have a brilliant season catch wise, but yeah. um, following on seems like instinct really, you know, at the end of the day I'm the one with the food and I think he knows that. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's quite happy to Yeah, you've, you've done a good job, that's for sure. So, um, Trained him up and he's out flying and he's catching his food. And exactly that, so we'll see how this season goes. Yeah. Well, we've just literally come out and I didn't even have my camera rolling. And uh, that was released the hawk. And it flew down this path here, straight down on this rabbit that was in the field. So I uh, didn't manage to get much footage of him in, in flight, but uh, he didn't mess about. That's great. Good stuff. Yeah. He's doing well, isn't he, on his. He is compared to last season, I think yeah, it's because it was my first season last year. Yeah. I think and obviously with the reds being um not the easiest of birds for beginners. No. I think um it was quite a challenge for me personally. Yeah, you've done you've certainly done well and you've got his weight nice bang you on. can see he's bang on. Yeah. I'm flying him lower than what I did last last season. Yeah. Um and it seems to be paying Paying dividend now. Yeah, so, yeah, um, you can, and you just, I suspect you'll be adjusting now as you go, wouldn't you? Exactly, that's right. Yeah. yeah. It's a good boy, but you've been a bit greedy today. Come on then. Come on then. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Thanks, good boy. Thank you for that. Thank you. I want that. I want that. And then that. It's basically how I do it. Yeah, nice. 
but, it's a um, shame we didn't get that flight, oh, but right. um, it That's was a good flight as well to be it fair. Was. I think obviously going down the hill yeah. on the wind obviously helped him, but yeah. Yeah, just didn't quite have time to get the camera on, but right. bang, straight on it. Good boy. Um, well done. Really surprised because to be honest, I've walked down here loads of times during the day. I never see anything here, but obviously you no. know they're here because you can see. Yeah, yeah. And they come out, the rabbit droppings, they're eating all of this as well. Yeah. But I reckon at night is obviously... It, this would be alive here, oh, it would be, I'm yeah, sure. Exactly. But, but um, yeah, that was... Uh, he saw it from up there, he yeah, knew what he, he was did, doing. yeah. And I didn't think he did, I saw it. Yeah. And I thought, I wonder if he's seen it, but <coughs> I wanted to let him go. He's anyway. got eyes like a hawk. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so, but let's have a look at that tail. So that's the the famous red, red tail. tail. Yeah, good boy, good boy. Yeah, good boy. And you say there, the tails are black when they're young. Yeah. Molt yeah, out. Yeah, then they molt out literally oh. within the first season. So mm. it's just that juvenile stage. They have that normal. Yeah. Was it black or brown? It was like a mixture. Yeah. It was like a yeah. Uh, what a beauty. And they, compared to the Harris Hawk, they're sort of quite um, rugged looking, aren't they? And they the are. feathers are blowing around, yeah. and they're, they, they're not very, not like smooth. They're all no, sort a bit of... more wild looking about them. Yeah, but a beautiful looking hawk. Good boy. Red tail. Um, where are they from? So they're from America. Yeah. Um, there's actually two phases, believe it or not. Mm. Um, so this is the standard red tail that you'd see throughout most of America, but there is also, I believe they're called the Rufus, Rufus Morph. Okay. And apparently uh, they're black. Right. Um, I believe there are a few breeders in the UK that have got Rufus pairs. Great stuff. People see these in their back gardens all over America, and you know, and they're... Um, yeah, it's amazing, because obviously my Arasaur and the Red Tail yeah. are not native and uh, no, exactly. we, see, we see them different in our minds, I'm That's sure right. the falconers, they're used to them, but to us it's like exactly. a, a real novelty, oh, isn't it? Right. So these these are called Butio Jamesis, I think is how you pronounce it. Yep. Butio Butio is the, the common buzzards. The buzzards, yeah. yeah. So they are, they're a red-tailed hawk, but they are actually a red-tailed buzzard. Is yeah, essentially like the Harris hawk is a buzzard. It, exactly that. Yeah. And you can tell that by their style of flying, they they do like to perch up trees, look down, you know, whereas a goshawk, yes. I think the majority of people that fly goshawks fly them off the fish, you know. Yes, yeah, These yeah. aren't the quickest of birds, no, you know. No. Um, so you have got to give them every opportunity you can, you know. If that means beating underneath, yeah. whilst they're looking down, then so be it. But, but um, um, maybe if we meet up one day, we'll um, we'll go through the rate and see if we can get a flush up for them. Right, should we uh, yeah. fly Woody? Yeah, definitely. Didn't really want to go on that side. If he does, he does. Dale's just put the red tail away. And he's beaten for Woody now. And we're going to go through here.
this is a new flying permission it's not new as in a new farm but it's uh, a new field and this runs right down through the valley and across there and today I'm just having a little walk with the dogs and eventually we're going to get pheasants in here and all sorts and we'll try and get some flights off the fist <clears throat> but for now we're just making our way over to the wood have a walk around the wood so the dogs are in this one's this dog's okay this one's still in training I want to make sure that he's keeping close I'm not sure if this wind noise is a bit heavy but he's doing well I just want to make sure that he's not like going off too far because if we get a point then we want to try and get a flight a decent flight out I've had a few days out with Woody now I'm still still trying to get that weight as it should be but you don't really know till you get them out off the creance watching what they're like but so uh, I've had to bring his weight down a little bit each day so we're a bit lower today um, I'm hoping he's going to be about right but he's just been a little stubborn coming back south hunting So I'm walking into a breeze now, coming this way. The hawk's fairly happy sitting on my fist because there's no close trees. Not sure what the dog's doing. I think he's putting up little pipits. getting bow trained up as well so we're just uh early season go on in go and find them so the dog's on point there for something i'm going to release the hawk just got him on the jesses because that dog was on point then Although that was a force point, didn't see anything there. It was worth taking that chance. Um, I didn't quite mean to let the hawk go. He just pulled three on his chesters, but it was okay. He had a look round, and if something had come up, I know he'd have gone for it. And uh, it would have been an interesting flight. Lovely bit of set aside. I want you going that way. We're on another little bit of land now. Go on. Go find them. Good boy. Where are they? Go on. This is your job, Bo. This is your job. Come on. Go find them. Go on. You show him how it's done, Chew. Go on. Go find them. Go on. What's in there? This is where I want you. Good boys, come on. Go and find them. Where are they? Come on. Good boy, Chewy. Where are they? Go 
We'll find them both. Good boy. We'll have a little go from the treetops. Rabbit. I just looked round and I saw him go boom. I thought, yeah. Ooh. Nice shot, nice shot, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, the thing is, we just walked through it. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Bo. Got that moving, didn't you, mate? Hey. Jerry, you've missed the action over here, mate. Over here. Yes, a bit late, but he <laughs> you're a bit late, Chewy. That's why he's called Chewy. <laughs> <laughs>